Welcome to this OES 2015 video demonstration. This video will show you how to use the DSFW Sites and Subnets feature to move a domain controller from one site to another. Let's begin by understanding how the Sites and Subnets feature enables you to configure multiple sites and distribute domain controllers over different geographical locations. Sites represent the physical structure or topology of your network, and a domain represents the logical structure, where all the domain controllers are logically linked. Using sites, in a DSFW environment, you can direct your users to the nearest domain controller, and ensure faster logins, rather than connecting over a van, to a domain controller that is at a geographically distant location. Consider this scenario. Acme Corporation has its headquarters located in New York, and branch offices in Berlin and Brazil. Acme has a domain controller located at their New York site. With this setup, login requests from Berlin go over the van to New York, thus resulting in slow logins. With the DSFW Sites and Subnets feature, you can create a new site named Berlin, and have a domain controller in this site. Then, when you receive a login request, the request is directed to the closest domain controller which is Berlin, thus ensuring faster logins. Now, let's take a look at how you can manage sites and subnets. In a DSFW environment, when you configure the first domain controller, a site name default first site name is created. All domain controller objects for all the domains are associated with this site. To manage sites and subnets, using MMC, you must first create a new site and a subnet. You must then associate the subnet to a site, and move the container object from the default first site name, or any other site to the new site. Now, a login request from Berlin, with IP address 198.168.6.33, will go to the domain controller in the Berlin site, which is associated with the subnet 198.168.6, instead of going over a van, to a remotely located domain controller such as New York. To learn more about sites and subnets, as well as other features available in domain services for Windows, see the DSFW Administration Guide in the OES Documentation Set, on the Novell Documentation website.